Hey everyone, it's Connor. Happy Monday and we hope you're doing well. As one of the pastors on staff, I want to take a moment and be sincere. I hope that these devos have been encouraging and helpful for you in this season and that they provided just a moment for you to connect with Jesus day in and day out as we've been going through the book of John as a church. We're going to be in John chapter 2 for just a brief moment and then connect over to 1 Corinthians. And before we go there, as I was reading and preparing, I was reminded of something my parents would tell me when I would go on a trip or go to a friend's house. It, they would say it to me as I was opening the door to get out and do what I was going to do. And they would say this. They would say, Connor, remember who you are. And really what they were saying was, remember that your last name is Wood. And remember that you represent Jesus wherever you go. So with that, as we jump into this Devo, a question that I have for you, if you've been following Jesus most of your life, all of your life, maybe this is a new thing. Do you get to do whatever you want to do after you start following Jesus? Because that's a question that people ask. If I'm saved by Jesus, do, does what I do matter? Are there real consequences eternally for me if I'm saved by the blood of Jesus? That's a good question. I think that's something that we discover in John chapter 2 and then in 1 Corinthians 5. So let's go there. John chapter 2, verse 13 says this, The Passover of the Jews was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. So Jesus was getting ready to celebrate the Passover. And we learned about this early in John chapter 2. And so reading that gives us an opportunity to talk about Passover for just a moment. The Passover was an event that began really out of Exodus when the Israelites are being freed from Egypt. And just to dial in on that story for just a moment, because there's a lot to talk about, there's a detail that really helps us in light of 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Part of getting out of Egypt meant that there were a series of events that had to happen. One of the most significant events was when the angel of death was passing over Egypt. It was one of the last events that were to take place. And God asked the Israelites to kill an unblemished lamb, take the blood, and put it on the doorposts of their homes. That would signal to the angel of death that they weren't going to die. Again, there's a lot more to the story in Exodus. You can read about that. But how that's helpful for us in 1 Corinthians 5 is this. Let me read. So I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, starting in verse 6. It says this, Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast, that you may be a new batch without yeast, as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, that's a, the important connection here, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with bread without yeast, the bread of of sincerity and truth. Jesus died for us over 2,000 years ago. He became the Passover lamb, the unblemished, perfect, holy lamb that would save us from our sins. And what Paul is getting at here is that, you know, the, the church in 1 Corinthians, they came to a point in their faith where they felt like they could just do what they want without any consequences because they were saved by faith and saved by what Jesus did. But what Paul is saying is, become who you are as a commentary summarizes this. And so, kind of like what my parents told me, and as Paul is kind of getting at here, remember who you are. Remember that you were saved by Jesus, not just to be able to do whatever you want, but there's an inspiration and motivation to live for him in a holy way. And so take that with you today, and we'll see you tomorrow for our next Devo.